Uh, hi. Uh, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, as the case might be. Uh, I'm Chaitan Baru. I'm a senior advisor in the Technology, Innovation, and Partnerships Directorate at the National Science Foundation. Uh, we are the directorate uh, that is supporting uh, these workshops and the related activities. So I wanted to take a few minutes, uh, since unfortunately I'm not uh, able to be physically present at the meeting, to just take a few minutes to give you an introduction uh, very quickly about the TIP directorate, but also uh, what our goals and uh, hopes and objectives are uh, for this uh, project and these set of meetings. The TIP directorate that sits within NSF was formed only two years ago, and it was formed as part of the Chips and Science Act that was passed uh, in 2022 on August 9th. And um, the directorate is uh, different from all the other directorates that are, that are at NSF, which are, as I mentioned, uh, really supporting basic uh, research, um, uh, much of it in academia. The goal of the TIP directorate is to look at research results and see how we can move them down uh, in towards societal impact. Obviously, there are many pathways uh, by which that can be done. But also there are many issues as you take those different pathways. What does it mean to take research and then have eventual impact on society? So let's come straight to the current project we're talking about under which these workshops are being run, the Innovation, Culture, and Creativity Project. Um, you know, what the, mo the thing that sort of motivated us to think about this is, in fact, this uh, statement that we have about innovation anywhere. So if you want to support innovation anywhere, you sort of wonder what is the relationship between uh, doing the having an innovative uh, economy or an innovative region and the culture uh, that is in that region, right? So what is the interplay uh, in the of the two uh, across communities uh, around the country or, or communities of practice? So the question is, how does innovation begin, and how is it sustained? You know, things might start up, but what are the kinds of things that keep it going? Now, in the abstract, you can argue, of course, that human, the humans as a species, we are innovative. That in, in a way that sort of distinguishes us from all the other species is that we are innovating all the time in various different ways. But of course, here we are talking about a specific form of innovation in the context of an individual or community's uh, health, prosperity, and welfare. So, you know, what is the innovation that helps the health, prosperity, and welfare? Uh, of an individual or a, or a community. And that goes back to the original mission that I showed you earlier about N of NSF, where we just cover these regions, these areas, these topics. And, of, and we are doing it in the context of uh, STEM, you know, science and technology, because fundamentally NSF is an agency that supports uh, STEM research. So the question is, you know, how does or how would or how should culture influence the shape of technologies and the ethics uh, there, right? What comes out of it? What are the results? How is it done? What are the impacts? What are the effects? And today, nowadays, we talk a lot. I'm sure you've heard a lot of discussion in society today about being responsible or ethical with AI, you know, AI being the technology that's just uh, swept society. Um, <clears throat> but you can talk about being responsible and, and, and ethical in all cases, on all technologies. Uh, and how all of the cultural aspects uh, and ethics are connected to culture and how cultural aspects might actually shape those technologies. Uh, and I just want to note that um, in TIP, we just created a program, just finished the first year of the competition and about to announce awards in a program called Responsible Design, Development and Deployment of Technologies, you know, all, all technologies. So it's an area that we are interested in. So based on all of the, <clears throat> those kind of ideas, uh, we decided to support this project, um, which is being run out, out of UCLA. Uh, and what the project is really doing is in some sense, um, on behalf of these ideas that we had at NSF, uh, running regional workshops across the country to sort of get a sense of you know, what's happening in different regions. How are people thinking about this? So I won't read through all of these, but there are seven regional workshops, yours being one of them, uh, that are being run all the way from Hawaii to New York City and all points in between uh, on a variety of different topics. <clears throat> you can either look at this uh, 
video or slide uh, later, or if you go to the UCLA's uh, website, icc.ucla.edu, uh, all of this information is available. We intend to follow this up. The project will work and we NSF folks will work with them uh, to have an, an industry summit of the creative industries. Uh, that's entertainment, streaming, and gaming, uh, along with uh, not just the companies, but the significant uh, labor workforce that is part of uh, that sector. Uh, and that'll be in October, on October 18th uh, in LA. The LA County Department of Economic Opportunity has offered their uh, location uh, site for uh, holding this meeting. And then all of the outcomes from your workshops, uh, the summit, uh, we want to take them all together and have a national convening workshop in December of this year, uh, which will be at UCLA. So of course, we are looking forward to reports that come out of each of these individual workshops and the kind of ideas and directions you think we should be taking uh, so that we can discuss all of those in, in one common uh, forum in December. <clears throat> so uh, that's all I had to say in terms of introduction. Hopefully that was a very quick introduction to NSF, TIP, and the ICC project and what's coming up. Uh, we'd really like to thank uh, all of the organizers of the regional workshops. Uh, our UCLA team has certainly spent a lot of effort and time in soliciting the workshops, doing the reviews, and awarding a fabulous set of uh, workshops. I'm sure we could have funded a lot more if we had more money for it. It's always the case, but we had to fill it, pick uh, some. So we have seven of these workshops, as I say, from Hawaii to New York City. Uh, and also thanks very much to uh, Professor Jeff Burke at UCLA and Professor Jennifer Jacobs uh, at UC Santa Barbara uh, for helping us for, for this doing this project and helping us with all of these uh, ideas. So I'll stop with that. Uh, my email is here, cbaru at nsf.gov. Feel free to send me any emails, any questions you have. We also have the tip email if you have questions in general about tip. Uh, and please do uh, visit our website. So I will stop the presentation with that and thank you.